Long hours are nothing new to Chef Kwame Anwachi inside the Kith and Kin kitchen. My longest day is 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. You go home, get a couple hours of sleep, come back and do it again. He's laser focused on one goal. I just want to win, that's it. I just put my head down and keep working, no matter what the situation is. It makes me feel alive, you know, walking through a restaurant and it's busy and it's bustling, and then you hear the roar of the dining room, you know, and that's what would, like, keep the team inspired, you know? We'd be like, you hear that? Like, they want the food, they want us, and that's what you want as a restaurant operator. No bad reviews here. Industry leaders look at him as a rising star. Kith and Kin's menu of Afro-Caribbean cuisine is a hit along DC's wharf. Recipes straight out of his family roots. Four pillars of cuisine are Trinidadian, Jamaican, Nigerian, and Creole. All four corners of my family. So luckily those places also have delicious food, um, which makes it kind of easy to create things that I just grew up eating. He first started cooking at age five, helping his mother with her in-home catering business. But he isn't confined to a kitchen. Kwame's second book is in the works. There's even talk of a movie about him. This Bronx native has a message of inspiration, especially for those who've had hard knocks like he did. We're not just um, banished to the back. You know, we have a platform that's even bigger than just being in the dining room. You know, we, we have a, a voice that we can use for change. And I think what you do with that voice is extremely important. Success comes with some bumps along the way. His first DC restaurant, Shaw Bijou, he says he opened with a lot of passion, but the pricey menu wasn't appetizing. I think they weren't ready for, you know, a young guy to come in here and charge what he thought was appropriate. People were freaking out over a price point for a meal. There is one customer who could get to him and make him sweat a little. I'd say the only person I really sweat around was Obama, Barack Obama. I would just be excited. I don't know if I'd be sweating, but I'd be excited if they came in to eat. There is no stopping this 30-year-old who's making a name for himself. A lot of people don't even make it to my age where I come from, so I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I can't do something. I think we all should be free because we all forge our own path in this world, you know, and we can't wait for a tap on our shoulder by a benevolent stranger to tell us that you're ready for this. Malek Green, News 4.